Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. I hope that you guys are doing okay this morning. As you come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope y'all don't, I hope that you, I'm, that, that's, that deep South Memphis accent really almost came out. I had to catch it, okay? Um, I hope that you guys are doing okay this morning. Um, and the reason I say that is because my tongue got real lazy, okay? It got lazy. Um, you know how your tongue get lazy and words just come out sounding any kind of way? Um, I had to catch that. <laughs> But I hope that you guys are doing okay this morning on this fall morning. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Fall and winter is definitely not my season. I don't I don't like getting out doing the work. I don't like doing nothing, the staying up under the covers. But I have to. And it seems like, you know, my work is definitely, for some reason, picked up. Okay? So, that means I have to stay out. Um, but I hope you guys are doing okay. Um this morning as you come into the room please hit the like button i stress how important it is to hit the like button it helps the video to circulate and as i said i got you know a few people hating this kind of messing with my videos we're about to narrow it down to who it is um because when i got on live the uh well not live but when i was on the other day somebody tried to hack into my security okay I, I, I nobody would ever would have believed it. I hurry up and got my phone and recorded it and got the name of the file. And it, you know, just the way that the file was named, um, it leads me to believe that it was a woman. Okay. Um, but w w that's being worked on. You know, people are so jealous hearted that it is pathetic. It makes them absolutely pathetic. I got an idea of who some other people are, but you know, I just, I got to keep working to get the proof and that's happening. Okay. So hit the like button and share the video. Make sure you share the video. Um, that helps the video to circulate also, okay? I want us to talk about uh, Glorilla Has Spoken, okay? Um, she defends Yogati. She pretty much stood up for herself. And um, I want to talk about what the uh, business partner of the um, of Hit Kid said. OK, I want us to talk about what um, he said also. Um, and I wanted to give my analysis of, you know, what actually what I think. OK, I want to I want to read a few things uh, to you all. Let me go to. Hold on. I want to read a couple of. um a couple of tweets um that Glorilla put out she said niggas been salty ever since I ain't signed to their label to be a group for zero dollars shaking my head she said one more thing before I log out niggas you signed the song away the first week without me knowing for 50k because you didn't know how big it was gonna be should I keep going Nigga that made so much money from FNF and I haven't made not one red cent other than the show, but I'm still prospering because guess what? I can rap in real life and ain't no MF one hit wonder. I wrote every single lyric and every song I ever put out. And even after all this, I still got love for Hit Kid because we came up together, even though he been going behind my back since the song Blue. But that's another story for another day. I just hate the fact he had to bring the business to social media when I could have came out about the snake shit he been doing to me. Okay? Now, that's what Glorilla said. Now, as far as um, Hit Kids, um, Kadeem uh, Phillips, which is Hit Kids... Um, business partner let me say i think that's his business partner kadeem hold on this is what he said he said let me address this from the business side because i see a lot of confusions end of day anthony holmes did great business 
and I'm thinking that's Hit Kid, Anthony Holmes. He said he gave up 50% of the masters and 50% of the publishing for FNF directly to Glorilla. We actually did everything to protect Glow from the industry and herself. Honestly, Glow independently collects the money for FNF. It's all hers. She doesn't own the song and never will. We actually saved her from losing millions and Glow was able to get a deal without having to sell her independent record. FNF was created to help all the girls, not for CMG. Just like Tony doesn't own Tomorrow or Blessed, Glow doesn't own FNF since Hit Kid put the song out, which was always the plan. Glow and Hit Kid get 50% split evenly of all the money brought in on FNF. Unfortunately, CMG froze all the money, even Glow money, in their last app and their latest claim to us. So if she hasn't seen her money, tell her to ask her label about it since she sold signing to CMG. Let me make sure I read that right. Yeah, since she sold signing to CMG. Luckily, his kid still owns the song because we did a deal to keep the ownership. His deal was only to distribute the song and market it so that Glow as well as the other girls could be successful because they didn't have marketing at the time or a budget. His kid paid for everything out of his pocket to make not only FNF, but every song his kid put out until we switched to using the budget that we have for an album, not FNF which was uh, used to make sure the girls was good. This is what happens when you open doors for people. They build the house with you to let someone else live in it. But this won't stop us from doing great business and creating a pipeline of success for Memphis. This will definitely get handled and was a pathetic way for a black man from Memphis to attack another black man from Memphis over a song he wasn't around to even help create. End of the day, we making this public to educate. This could have easily been you. People can talk their ass off. I believe what the producers are saying because Gotti has a history of doing it. I think Glorilla does not know the business. And in the end, she is going to regret this. I do. I do. I just, I believe it. And even though I don't want to, you know, and so I went a little further and I pulled up Glorilla. Um, she actually, I want y'all to hear she went live, okay? And Glorilla got a lot of growing to do, uh, okay? Because she's, hold on. Take the whole song from you. You find your 50% over the, let me shut up. <laughs> I'm so with shut the fuck up. Let me shut up. <laughs> I want to say this shit so bad because it make it plain as day and so fucking simple. And people don't hear so simple, man. And it just, I, I don't even give a fuck no more. Yeah. I just got to say my piece because. I ain't feeling nobody make me seem like no fuck nigga when all I did was show a nigga love. I don't, all I did in labor means I'm with me and he kid a good duo. Him, man, you hear my label means with me. I'm like, me and he kid a good duo, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, wait, I'm telling him if I sign y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want him to come with me. I'm saying that the whole time. And then another thing he kept saying, it was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about, but he ended up saying, if they want to, they gonna have to pay me. I forgot what exactly what amount he said. He just said between a hundred k or five hundred k. They gonna have to pay me for this song. He got the same shit like that. I he kept saying labels called me, so I'm like, he on some other shit. And so he's saying I use them. Okay, so that proves that Glorilla does not know the business. Uh, if he helped her with the song, why wouldn't he get up uh, uh, get paid for the song? Okay, at that point, uh, she started to feel a certain way. Okay, some uh, she started to she I guess she felt like he was not supposed to uh get paid for the song. Um but let, let me let's listen to the rest of it. G lawyer. My lawyer is not a PMG lawyer. He was trying to get me to use his lawyer though. He was like, use my lawyer, use my lawyer. No, I'm not using your lawyer, you man, because I'm not using your lawyer. I, I used another lawyer and he not CMG lawyer. So Make sure he was not connected to CMG lawyer because it seems like some bad business has been done. Okay. Man, what the fuck is it? Matter of fact, okay, one day he called me. I was we got this around in the process of me signing. And let me just say this because these lawyers will take money from these labels up under the table to make sure 
that their clients sign bad deals. I digress. Oh, God. Like, where you? I'm like, oh, we got it. Like, tell God to sign me. <laughs> he don't want to get left. He said, out. tell God to sign me. He like this is problem. He want everything I do. Yeah. He want to make it like he created me, and that's not what it is. He keep like I said. You could have gave that beat to anybody. Nobody was gonna make Evan up but me. I was the only person that was gonna make Evan up. So stop acting like you. I think Glorilla got, she got the issues confused. The song is what made her popular, and it was his song. Of course, she had the talent, but the song is what made her popular. But I can understand she's a young lady. She kind of reminds me of my, you know, of how she's around my girl's age, but I'm a mother. I'm I'm able to see uh, that she's headed for some disappointments, especially with them sharks that she's around. But I digress. You discover me. I gave he could credit on more, but okay, he a, he's a great producer. He just do fuck shit like, and I was getting mad. Like I sort of got I cried about this shit before. Come like you you talked about how people fuck you out of deals, and you trying to do me the same way. Trying to do like we thought we were cool before all this shit, and now you like this money and shit making you turn on me. Like you not trying to give me no percentage of the song. They lying on her like they trying to do fifty fifty, and they not so. It was crazy. Like, that, I never brought the shit to the internet, though. Like, the mind been on fuck shit since the first week it blew with Sweetie. The first day he signed it and didn't tell me he signed it. And now he all the label means with me knowing he signed it. So, what the fuck, fuck else did mind be doing? Okay, so, bam, lately, he been throwing subs. Like, y'all probably never caught it, but he never got no clout off the subs he been throwing. So, that's why he has gone ahead and put a name on and talk about me so y'all can... Get him some clout or whatever. But now since y'all gave him the clout, I'm gonna give him some clout too. Fuck it. Everybody else already doing it. He kid did not write for a nigga free. This is beat on this song. No, he kid ain't writing out one piece of fuck nigga free. Nothing. The only this, thing, right? only thing I'll say he contributed to was at the end. In my verse, I said, We hopping out of red light, turning on the headlights. <coughs> at the end of the song, he say, Say hopping out of red light, turning on the headlights again. But I wrote that box. He just said, Say it again. What I really don't understand is the beat is what make a song. It, you could have all kinds of lyrics. If the beat ain't banging, ain't nobody gonna listen to that shit. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, CMG is raking her over the coals because it don't seem like she understand quite a bit. At the end, that's the only thing he contributed to that song. I, Lorilla, wrote the whole song. And now when you look it up, producers always get writer's credit because they produce. What the fuck else would what the fuck is that? Okay, so Ed since I okay, so bam, I got nominated with two BT awards, right? I won artist of the year, but my song F and F ain't win. If F and F would have won, me and him would have won the award. Bam. It didn't happen. I won. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. And I swear to God, y'all. Nigga, the other day for Kylie's birthday, when I gave her that patty, because she was 100 about everything. She did everything the right way. She fucked with me genuinely. And ain't, you know what I'm saying, one looking on no extra shit. And even she said, I be telling her thank you. She be like, no, thank you. We helped each other out shit, type shit. Give the card to the patty. He been in his feelings like, why you want, you mad because I'm giving card to the patty? Because we, because it's her birthday? And because she a genuine person, I fuck with her, you think I owe you this. And I swear to God, that's what been making him go so ham. He come in, he sure he retweeted something on Twitter that said I did and put the little fake like this. You? Uh, what Gloria really need to understand is the only reason God is signed her ass was because of that song and all of the attention that she was getting for that song. Nobody paid her attention. That song and that beat and stuff is what blew her up. Okay? Glorilla, young lady, don't let God make you eat them words because you're dealing with sharks. Okay? But it'll be a learning experience for you. But I digress. The only reason he really already probably screwing you over. We just paying close attention to it. He just ain't. He just ain't. He just ain't did you real bad yet, because he know we we watching. Okay. And once the attention starts to fizzle, he'll go ahead and do you on in. I'm talking about your boss. Well, probably could have got you to like it if you want us. He did that by then coming on my pit, on the video I post on Instagram to get her to panic and put the same face like he think I owe him one. You probably could have got some shit if you, if you was one hundred from the go. beginning. You if like, you was one hundred from the beginning, I would have been fucked with you. I fuck with everybody that do everybody that started with me. I fuck with them. But no, you was on fuck <laughs> shit since day one. He was on fuck <laughs> shit since day one with that song, 
And he's not like, I ain't throw no ass in the video. We're going to lie to them motherfuckers too. <laughs> I swear to God, y'all say like, you want too much credit. He can, you didn't get talked about. The girls from Texas phone didn't get talked about. Slam her on in, gloss, yeah, because that was the only two in the video. My friends got talked about, you should have seen them out of a trip to LA, you know what I'm saying? When we was the one getting called ugly bitches. Mm -hmm. They deserve to come out there and, you know what I'm saying, on some shit like this. Another thing with him, all the girls getting signed, right? All the girls, one by one, well, about to get signed, all this type of shit. He mad because he wanted to sign us and he wanted people to sign us through him. He want to be like, I, I feel bad for him, fool, because he wants so much credit. Like, like I said, like we helped each other with these beats and shit. Of course, okay, you was paying for studio time, but you wanted us on your on your beats. Like, we didn't. This girl can't even. You see what she said? He was paying for studio time. Of course, the guy want to be acknowledged because he feel like hell. God, he would not have even looked at her if this song had not blown up. That's what Glow really don't understand. She don't really understand the business. Okay, that's how you know they're screwing all over. God, he didn't sign you because you could rap. He signed you because that song was hot. I asked you to get on your beats. You wanted us on your beats. So how are you saying you helped us? Like, I, I was going along with the first, okay, you, you helped us. We helped you too, though. Like, you picked us to get on your yeah, beats. Yeah, you couldn't do nothing to shit you had my We right already now. had clout, so stop no acting like we didn't help each other. Stop acting like you discovered me because people been knowing me. I've been rapping. I just went nationwide. When I made FNL, I wrote the song. You didn't write it. So why you want so much credit like you discovered me? Like, not, like I said, I, every time some good happened, I was like, we did it. Glorilla, nobody cares about the lyrics of a song. It is the beat that draws the attention. Okay. I digress. Congratulations to us. Even when he was doing fuck I'm still like, we did it, man. We did it. Whole time. Whole time while I'm coming through it. He worked with me and back doing the shit out of me. Whole time I'm with him. So, yeah, another, that's another thing he made about it because all the girls getting, you know, we getting signed up because, you know, we popping. You know what I'm saying? The song blew. They went and looked at all the girls. All the girls can rap. They getting signed independently. Like, he wanted us to sign as a group so he can have a discovery free fee. It was something yeah, he said. Like, but it's like he said he say that he want all this shit for all five of them. But in reality, he don't want one of them to win because she, once they blow, he feel like he posted Get half of that. Yeah, like, like he won't credit off for us so bad. Like, of course, I work. Shit. If that's the case, Macaroni be crying for credit. That's what I'm saying. Mac ain't like that though, fool. Mac ain't a real nigga. Macaroni is a real nigga. I swear to God. Cheese. His name is Cheese. <laughs> Both of Macaroni, like, niggas ain't crying. Like, bro, you a, you a producer. I, give, I gave him his credit on everything. Like I said, I fuck with you. You a great producer. But the way he just went about the shit was wrong as hell. And I would have never talked about this shit. Like I said, it's still shit that I still can't talk about. I ain't gotta talk about it, though. I ain't gotta talk but about it. But yeah, basically, then, yeah. yeah, he was being shady after I gave Cardi the Patty. Like, I gave Cardi Patty the other day. he been making shady tweets ever since then. Literally. Then, like, bro, you think you deserve a patty from me and you've been doing all this fuck shit to me? You can't bag that At the end of the day, mean. niggas be sassy as hell, niggas be bitches, and y'all just get on here and believe anything. Like, then his manager even worse. His manager came on here exposing his ammo. Some of some dead deal. Dead life is great. I can't wait for y'all hear I'm my news. Like, life is great. Do you hear me? Life is super that great. That's what I'm saying. Right my girl is good without the and, and listen, God don't bless no mess, but I'm super blessed. And he in a predicament he in crying and she. Because he had bad intentions and God don't bless no mess. I'm a child of mother. Let me not say this. I'm a child of God. And look, let me not get on here cursing and being a Christian. You can but talk about God and you can't curse in the same too. God, God don't, don't play like by me. <laughs> God don't play by me at the end of the day. And like I say, God don't bless no mess. And I don't do people wrong because I don't want wrong coming to me. So. Yeah, his manager making it even worse. I believe it ain't even him. I feel like it's his manager in his ear. I don't even think it's his kid. And I feel sad that he in the situation that he in. I don't feel sad. And I really, like I swear to God, I was out. planning on making plenty more songs he is. Like I said, he's a great producer. Yeah. I think she feel bad because she know how bad she knows how much he has helped her. Uh, Glorilla does not know a whole lot about the business. They're trying to take that boy's song. Here's the thing. If 
he did not, if he sold ownership of the song, they would not be taking him to court. They taking him to court. They wouldn't have to take him to court if he had sold, if he didn't own the song no more. Hell, they'd be saying, we don't even know what we're talking about. This wouldn't be an issue. They wouldn't have to take him to court if he sold a song. They'd be dealing with the people that he sold the song to. Evidently, he still has some type of ownership of the song. I, you know, I think with Glorilla, she probably just don't know. And I'm listening to her, you know, I don't want to talk bad about her, but it's just some things that she's gonna have to go through. Um, yeah, she's getting her shine on, and and I'm and I'm happy, but I she gotta understand she was that song helped her to to shine even more. And because of the popularity of that song, that's the reason why Got It came after her. Because he already had intentions with his lawyers, because this is something, uh, from what I'm hearing, this is stuff that they've done in the past as far as ganking people out of their stuff. Okay? Let's listen to a little bit more of it. And and then, you know, I'm a, I'm going to end it. Uh -huh, that, he like make he make beats for my voice like we a perfect duo together like we make hits. That's why we all be going back to her uh, interviews and shit. She really she just said that he make hits for her. Her voice, yeah, but if if it wasn't what she don't understand is the beats is what make the song. A song can sound good if the beat don't get me the groove and I ain't listening to it. You know, she, I never she uplifting this man for she ain't never talking man on he getting nothing this shit like this shit is this is the first. This is, this I never talk bad on him. Well, I called him fast and shit because he been doing all this bullshit to me. That's now though. He he exposing himself now. That's why like he coming after this shit now. I know that screen calling the hell out this. <laughs> I can like I said the the legal part, the numbers part. I can't speak on numbers right now, but just know. He fucked himself out. He did the shit to himself. That's like she tried hard to get a camera. <laughs> Y'all, I would get this motherfucker if I want to. That's what I, <laughs> damn, I don't want to. The fuck? I don't want to be in there, camera. This is her friend phone. How about that? Yeah, his manager though went on there really exposed and she like, he on there saying, well, he on there saying, he like, no, he signed the deal for the girl to do the EP. I never agreed to this. Why is you going to sign a song that I 100% wrote? saying you signed it for me to do an ep for a group and i never told you i want to be in the group and so now you got to provide them an ep with me and all the girls on it but i'm not doing it because you played you go come to back door me like i said i was fed tail line get on the shop y'all son but because of legal reason i just couldn't do it like you not finna pay me But yeah, that's the story. And if a motherfucker say I'm lying, then oh well, like y'all can believe whatever y'all want to believe. Long story short, fuck them. Fuck them. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> In Dick Bind, I see all you hoes. You rapper hoes, yes, I see y'all. Yeah, I learned me, I sent it. Begging for features, don't hear talking shit. Don't know shit about shit. I see all that shit, and no, I'm not getting on your beat. No, I'm not doing a feature, none of it. Cause yeah. don't hear talking shit and th think I don't see it. Oh, I see it, yeah, I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> he come about that, cause y'all don't fucking play about me. And for the ones that know me, no. For the ones and all you rapping that hoe, trying to, all this little sleek talking and shit. Y'all know how that kind of little dark the boy. I called my girl to hope. Yeah. <laughs> he was just on some jumping straight forward, jumping into shit, not thinking shit. And now he mad about it and think I'm the blind. He think he supposed to blame me for it. And that's not the route you need to take. Because if you would have been 100 you think I would have fucked with you. I swear to God. Because like I said, the niggas we done took from them, mm -hmm. like, oh, it's been a lot of bitches. And all you hoes be in Memphis. Then yep. y'all talk shit because y'all know we don't be in Memphis no more. No, myself. Oh, the mine. Like say, all you little shady ass rapper hoes can wait to say something. Mm -hmm. I see you hoes. Y'all mad. Y'all want my spot and can't get it. Yeah, I saw it. You what? No, y'all screen cool. Like I said. 
Okay, I can't listen to no more. I I could I could see that she just she got a lot to learn. Um, and you know, she won't. You know, right now she's kind of because of FNF song. She's blazing, and you know she's gonna make herself lose her own spot because number one, people uh, kind of don't want to um, when she's you know when God is in the videos with her. You know, people still was kind of side eyeing her. I I never did though. Um, about you know her being a picture with Dolph and um, um, signing with CMG. I never side eyed her on that because I don't know. I heard that she was not supposed to sign with Dolph. That she was just in a picture with him. But she did make a statement saying that you know Dolph was the best, and you know. I hear Gotti does not let stuff go easily. So, of course, he would sign her just to screw her over. Of course, I believe those producers. Glorilla is just 22 years old. Hell, this man been ganking folks out of stuff from what I hear, allegedly, before she was even born. And she did make a comment saying that he was the person that stood up for her. That's because he already had a plan and he treating her right. Uh... I just think that Glorilla does not know the business and you could kind of tell that she still has a soft spot because that boy was really messing with her. The only reason God is signed her is because of that song and he wanted that song and that's what he going after. Everybody already knew that except for Glorilla. But child, this is something to watch. This is something to watch, child. I done told y'all. Y'all know, y'all know how I, 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 you know, I ain't been feeling God it, really since this situation with Dolph, okay? How messy he has been with his artist, letting his artist diss on him, a dead man, how his name has been brought up in the situation. You know, we just wait for God to give, to bring justice to that though. And he will, okay? He will. So I think what Glorilla needs to do is, you know, because she's so young, she don't know the business. She don't. I'm listening to her. She sound like a 22 year old. OK, they've been doing this. She don't know anything about it. And she had her own lawyer. He let her sign that deal. He should have got her more money. OK, that's what he should have did. Because, see, I know with lawyers, especially if her lawyer was from Memphis, they all kind of communicate with other lawyers and they go, well, we'll give you such and such because he knew how much money he was going to make. They had already assessed the situation. We going to going to try to take that song. That young man probably ain't got the high price lawyers to go out to got it. Got it wrong as hell. He screw everybody over in Memphis, and Glorilla is not above being screwed over because they probably already doing it. Okay. So this is this is gonna be interesting, you guys. But please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. I want you guys to know that I truly appreciate you. This is something to watch, and I do want to see the young lady make it. But her mouth. Okay, and her arrogance is going to make people like me that have peeled back because I ain't want to say nothing about her. Um, and you could tell, like the dude mess with her, you could tell she kind of feels something. But she got to go along to get along if she don't want to be shelved. And what she needs to do is make sure that lawyer ain't got no type of connections with the mother lawyers. He ain't took nothing up on the table. Cause I used to, I used to mess with a dude in the business and he talked about how his lawyer screwed him over, how them, the, the music execs lawyers said, we'll, we'll mess with you. We'll give you a job and we'll, um, 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 we'll, we'll give you some money up on the table. He said, and the man said, uh, y'all will do that for me. Uh, well, let me go ahead and tell this son of a bitch. Which you know, get this summer bitch to have this summer bitch to sign this this whack ass deal. That's what they do. So she got a, a lot to learn. Okay. Anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk with you guys later.